Hey everyone, I'm Austin Perry from AP Frags. We're here in Boca Raton, Florida. Uh, we're here to showcase our 250 gallon deep, deep dimension display. So when we first set up this tank, uh, one of our objectives was to uh, have a, a nice SPS dominated system, uh, but as we started to uh, move the system to its new location, uh, we started to make it more of a mixed reef, uh, adding some chalices, some favias, and a lot of softies, um, some of the higher end zoanthids um, really caught our eye and, and attention. Uh, you know, and then our next focus was to start to add some of the more high-end fish, you know, to showcase to our, some of our local customers. Uh, one of our, you know, favorite fish now that we've just added to the system is our new koi tank. Um, it's one of the most exotic ones we have in there. So this is a 250-gallon deep dimension marine land tank. Uh, it's a 5 foot by 3 foot. Uh, it has the dual overflows. We have uh, the Haitian shelf rock was uh, one of our main focuses on the rock stack. It, it was gave us the best uh, caves and shelf structure that we were looking for to be able to showcase the corals and allow the fish to swim in and out of the reef. We went with the sand bottom instead of a bare bottom. It allowed us to add some of the rasses and other inverts to the system. So this system we wanted to really focus on making it more of the uh, higher end or unusual style tank showcasing some of the you know the world's most high-end corals uh, your bounce mushrooms uh, some of the chalices SPS really unique favias we got a really wide selection of, uh, of different corals in there some rainbow acans with Sawneys, you know a lot of the unusual things that you don't see uh, all the time come in another another coral that we have in there uh, is the, the dendros. Um, it's a really unique, unusual piece. We also uh, have our new mascot, uh, Koi Tang. Um, you know, it's pretty cool how we got him uh, changed color pretty pretty quick into the uh, the white, yellow, and black. Uh, when we first got him, he uh, had a little bit of blue coloration, more black dominant. Throughout the system, uh, his colors have started to change. Um, very unique fish, uh, you know, to, to have in the system. Uh, we also have um, some Hawaiian flame wrasses, uh, a few dust bar anthias, as, as well as squampinus. We also have a Fiji mimic tang, um, as well as purple tang, and a few other, you know, smaller fish in there. So we come across a lot of corals uh, from time to time uh, as we collect. Um, and one of our corals that uh, we definitely like to, to collect is uh, the Leptoceras. Uh, it's very unique in its coloration uh, and growth. Uh, the, the pattern, the way that it encrusts over the rock uh, is probably one of the more unique corals that you don't come across uh, as often as some of the other pieces. The uh, Jason Fox, um, a, a Lunar Lepto, the Jason Fox, Jack Lantern, uh, you know, one of the uh, originals. Uh, that came out um, that he found, but uh, it, it's just one of those unique corals that uh, you don't see very often that continues to pop up with different colorations. Uh, this system uh, has been set up for close to eight months now. Um, it was in a different location. We did recently start to move it uh, to start to do some finished woodwork on the stand and canopy top. Uh, we did want to make it more of a boutique style look. You know, we have added some new fish, some new corals to the system as the, the journey has continued. But our main focus now is to continue to make this one of the nicest mixed reefs uh, that you can come see locally in Boca Raton. Alright, so our 250 gallon deep dimension marine land tank uh, features trigger system tide line sump. Uh, that's the, uh, the white version of that sump. Uh, we also have Reef Octopus Regal 250 uh, DC adjustable skimmer. Uh, it's got the auto float valve for the cup. Awesome feature. Uh, DC pump, can't beat it. Uh, adjustability of it. 
Um, we also have the uh, Max Spec Gyri power head in the system. Awesome power head, you know, pushes a lot of flow. Great for the SPS coils. Uh, for the lighting, uh, we feature the, uh, the Reef Bright LED strips. Uh, we have eight 15 inch uh, XHO blues. Um, we have two 48 inch XHO blue Reef Bright strips. Um, and then our main lighting is the uh, T5 Tech Light uh, 8 bulb. Uh, we use um, seven Blue Plus ATI bulbs with uh, one Purple Plus ATI. Uh, we use a Jabo DC 12,000 pump uh, for the return. We use filter socks for the micro. We also use the uh, VRS dosers um, for our two-part solution for our A and B. Another, another feature to this system is we are also using the, uh, the Apex unit uh, to control all the lights, the pumps, dosing, etc. for most of the features that we do have on this system. So we also have a really cool feature uh, for the tank. Yeah, we use a, a titanium heater, um, something that we really truly, truthfully recommend to uh, a lot of our customers. Uh, a lot less uh, failure uh, with uh, the glass heaters that you see sometimes. Uh, so just some tips that we have here for anyone that uh, is trying to accomplish a mixed reef. Um, you know, try and keep it simple. Um, you know, we run uh, the biggest protein skimmer that you can possibly put. Uh, we also recommend, you know, try and get the biggest filtration setup that you can possibly fit underneath. Uh, provide some good flow, uh, good lighting. Uh, we highly recommend the T5 light. It's one of our primary uh, lights that we use here in the shop. Uh, we do recommend the Reef Bright Strip if you're trying to get that nice color pop. Uh, but ultimately, you know, test your, your aquarium. Uh, constantly test your alkalinity. You know, it is one of the most essential elements to uh, test in your system. And, and definitely dose. You know, it's, uh, it's something that will definitely improve the, uh, the growth uh, and overall uh, health of your corals. Once again, this is Austin Perry from AP Frags. Uh, we'd like to thank you for checking out our 250 gallon display. Uh, we'd like to thank Richard for coming on out and uh, videoing our systems. Uh, if you need any help or have any questions about uh, setting up your next mixed reef display, uh, you know, contact us at Facebook or Instagram. Uh, also my email, apfrags at gmail.com.